Now, more than ever, long-term concessional financing is vital. As many Africans and other developing nations face severe debt crisis, this financial strain hampers our efforts to combat climate change, transition to low carbon economy, and adequately fund essential sectors like education, health, and social protection. We have frequently discussed the financial challenges that restrict our economic capabilities and reduce our investment in resilience and growth. High interest rates lead to unsustainable sovereign debt, complicate refinancing, and destabilize our currencies. Additionally, the rising cost of living, increased commodity prices, and supply chain disruptions severely impacting our food security, healthcare systems, and overall preparedness for response to crisis. Last year, we brought to global attention that African nations pay interest rates up to five times higher than typical World Bank IBRD rates. This year, the situation has worsened. Developing countries are now net contributors to the global economy, contrary to expectations of receiving net inflows. Projections, for example, for 2024 show a net outflow of US dollars 74 billion from either countries like Kenya and others to donor nations, while net financial transfers to developing countries have plummeted from US dollars to 25 billion in 2024 to now a low of US dollars 51 billion in 2022. Those statistics are glaring by any measure. Given these conditions, sustainable growth remains elusive for African nations as we allocate more funds to debt service than to crucial sectors like education, health, and social protection. 